In today's video, we're going to look at entering a bill for services from an EU company. It's early 2021, so we're still considering the post-Brexit implications in the UK. In particular, we want to look at a bill from Google for Google Workspace, which is a supply of services from an EU company. Google are based in Ireland. I'll put some links in the description below, but what you will see is that the rules are relatively unchanged when it comes to services. So what that means is when you have an import of a service to the UK, you're still going to follow the reverse charge rules. Now I know with examples like Google Workspace, a lot of people are confused and there's very good reason for that. When you had an invoice from Google Workspace back in 2020, on the invoice it stated that you should use the reverse charge, so it was clear. Fast forward to 2021, the end of January 21, you get that same monthly invoice, it's for the same amount, there's still no VAT on it, but it now doesn't mention the reverse charge. But if you look at the rules, if you look on the HMRC website, we can confirm that the reverse charge does still apply. If you dig around a little bit behind the scenes in Google, you will see that they do still refer to the reverse charge. So we're going to head into zero and we're going to take a look at inputting a Google Workspace bill. Okay, we're on the zero dashboard. We're going to go to our file section and we've got two Google invoices in here. Let's just take a look at the first one. Here we can see our invoice dated December 2020 and it's clear that we would use the reverse charge. But we're not in December, we're now in January. And if we take a quick look at our January invoice, you can see that it no longer says on the face of the invoice anything about the reverse charge. So I think that's where a lot of the confusion comes from. But we've confirmed by going to HMRC that we do still follow the same rules. So we're going to select our invoice and we're going to say add to a new bill. We can see our invoice on the screen, so we can copy the information. It's changed its name a few times. I think it's now called Google Workspace. The price is six pounds. We're going to choose subscriptions. And now when I get to the tax rate, I need to change that. I'm going to click on the drop down and I'm going to choose reverse charge expenses. The amount is six pounds and I'm going to approve. So let's take a look at what happens on the VAT return. So if we select VAT return, I'm only interested in that one transaction. So I'm going to choose one day only, 31st of January, and create my VAT return. If I go to transactions by VAT box, if we go to box one, VAT due on sales, here we can see the reverse charge amount. And if we go to box four, VAT reclaimed, Again, we can see the reverse charge amount. So it's an in and an out, cancelling each other out. So I want to make sure that I get this right in future. So there's a couple of things that we could do. First of all, I'm going to Contacts and I'm going to select Google. I'm going to choose Edit, scroll down to the Financial section and I'm heading to the Purchases and I'm going to choose the default account I'm going to say subscriptions and then I'm heading to the VAT section and the default purchases VAT and I'm looking for reverse charge. Then I'm going to save. So just to show you what that will do, if I'm back in the file section, let's say I've got my invoice for the next month, I don't have so I'll just choose the December one so you can see what I mean. I'm going to say add to new bill again. Okay, we need to say that the bill is from Google. Let's see what happens when we put something into the description we put a quantity and as soon as we get to that stage, zero will pre-populate the account as 485 subscriptions and the tax rate as reverse charge. So by doing that, it means when you get your next Google invoice, you're not going to have to think about it. You're going to see in zero where it's getting coded to and the correct VAT code to use. Back to the dashboard, the other thing that I would possibly recommend that you do is you go to the bills you need to pay section 
you go to the repeatum and you set up a new repeatum bill telling Xero that every month you're going to expect a bill from Google and you would fill in the information. I'll put a link in the description because there's a video explaining in detail how you can use repeating bills in Xero. So just to recap, if you are importing services from an EU company, reverse charge still applies and we've looked at a bill and I've showed you how to input that in Xero. If you like the video, please let me know that you like the video and why don't you subscribe to the channel so that you get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. If you've got any questions, any comments, put them below and I'll do my best to respond. But until next time, happy zeroing.